Hi everyone, Alex with Beam It Up. Today we're going to continue with our Revit Beginners series, Architecture Basics Part 4. I want to make a clarification here. I named the series Architecture Basics. I should have probably named it uh, Revit Basic Architecture for MEP. This is intended for MEP consultants or MEP contractors that don't have an architectural model, uh, but they have some PDFs or some DWG files and there's they, they want to build something they want to build a model out of that information so you can do your MEP work so this is gonna be geared towards creating levels but before that uh, regarding our Vim it up video topic vote for April uh, we had boosters versus heaters so selecting a domestic booster versus piping a complex water heating system and the winner by far was uh, domestic boosters if you wanted the heaters you should have told your friends to vote anyway you still have a chance with the heaters i'm gonna be matching them up with uh, some other topics uh, back to our Revit architecture basic series uh, what we're gonna be doing is uh, again assuming that you have that elevation that shows all the level information we're gonna be creating our own um, levels I'm going to show you how to create them and how to edit the levels. You're going to notice that uh, they can be associated with uh, plans, either RCPs or floor plans or not. And you know, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks along the way. I hope you enjoy. See you in Revit. And before we even start, Think about it, it makes sense. If you like this kind of content, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. You hit that bell so you get notifications. You don't miss any of our videos. All right, so let's create some levels. Right now I'm in a floor plan view. So if I go under architecture and I go under my datum panel, I only have the grids available because you can create column grids in a floor plan view but you cannot create levels in a floor plan view. So what we want to do is something similar to this. So I'm going to open the AutoCAD Revit section that was exported. So right now we have a level one. We want to create a level two, three, and move the roof all the way to the top. So we know this one's at 12 feet, the other one's at 24 and 36. We have that information, let's go to Revit. So here, let's go to a south elevation, for example. And here we see that wall. Let's change that to shade it so we can see it. So that's that wall over there. And uh, let me go back to wireframe. So I'm going to grab level one and I'm going to move it a little bit out of the way, along with all the, the other levels. You know, there's 3D levels locked together. So if I move one of them, all the others are gonna move. So we know that our roof has to be now 36 feet. So let's go back and let's modify that. We can change that right here, 36. So our roof's in the right location. Now we need to create two more levels, level two and level three. So for that, notice that now that I'm in the south elevation, I could have also double click here, but I, I got to it by double clicking here, right? So you can go here to level now and notice that some things get activated here. Uh, first, we have the option to either create a plan view or not, right? Because uh, you can create a level just for the sake of it as a reference, you don't necessarily have to create a plan view based on that level. So if you click this check, you will. And then here, the plan view types that you're creating, it can be either ceiling plan, looking up, or floor plans, looking down. Let's keep both on. And finally, you can give an offset to whatever you're doing. You can either create a new line or you can pick a line. So let's do one of each. For now, I'm going to create a line and I'm going to create it 
uh, let's say th this was 12 feet right away from this one so 12 feet so that's my level right there level 2 let me just um, take this out a little bit so that was level 2 notice that a ceiling plan for level 2 was created and also a floor plan for level 2 was created now let's do a level 3 so you know you could do level here and then you could pick a line like around here or here and give an offset to it you know um, so let's just do the same thing that we were doing before we come here line and then for this one uh, you don't necessarily have to do it right the first time let's say we make a mistake and we thought it was 10 6 all right let me go from from this point to this point all right so this level right now it's 11 feet from the bottom one but we didn't want 11 feet we want it 12 feet so we can easily change it here and there you go so now we have our three levels level one level two level three on our roof at 36 so that's exactly what we're looking for 0 12 24 36 and there's also a parapet so we can create the parapet let's actually do that right now that's uh 38 so let's do another level right here but for the parapet i don't want to make a plan view for that so let me just uncheck this and i know that i was going to be two feet right away from this one And then I'll just change this to two feet. That's my parapet. And now in order to see this a little better, I can always just come here and click on this little leg here. And then now I can click on this line and just bring this up and then probably adjust this a little bit. That's my level four at 38 feet. That's what I was looking for. Notice that the levels that have plants associated to them are in blue, whereas the ones that have nothing associated to it are in white. By the way, this level head here, you can click on your level and you can change to say a no head right here. You see, uh, let me hit undo. And you can also select a different level head when you're creating uh, a level. So if you click on level, you can select it from here, okay? And as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button down there, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you get notified. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.